Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Darklands with no fair fights. We should train a little bit more. Our guys are still horrible at what they do, and that is fighting. So we try to kill more thieves, try to get more reputation, maybe even talk them into... Uh, oh, look at this, common speech going up. Okay, actually I wanted to kill people but that is good as well maybe we can talk them into more no this time they want to fight well you cannot have everything and I'm oh they are carrying swords which is good because that's about 11 times more worth than um, the clubs because if you fight the club guys they're not worth anything Oh, I think you have to. You cannot change equipment in battle, can you? Ah, oh, damn it! No, you can. Ah, only one hit. Miserable. Everyone, go in there. Guns blazing. Kill those guys. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them for good. Ah, oh, isn't it beautiful? As long as we're not getting hurt, I mean, they're using real swords, so they have, uh, I think they have the ability to penetrate their armor, or, no, clubs are actually better at penetrating armor than this, um, primitive swords are. Well, primitive might not be the right point, but you get my point. Wonderful. Thief take, never take the cloth with you, because that stuff is absolutely useless. And yeah, we're getting better. Excellent. Training is everything in this game. Training, training, training. And they even like you for some unknown reason. When we are better, we can take on real enemies like, for example, um, Raubritter and that kind of stuff. Although they're pretty hard because they are pretty heavily armored and they're carrying two-handed swords and if your armor is not up for the task then you're really taking a lot of damage. Can you throw one more? No, you cannot. You're out of ammunition. Get him before others, before the other is going to help him. the game slowing down what what is our alchemist doing he's running the wrong way obviously just take them down oh oh that was bad and another hit that goes to our strength this guy here tries to be a hero as it seems Okay, um, the leader takes the clubs and the leather and the others will get their javelins back. Okay, let's have a quick look. Then perhaps, because I have the feeling that I didn't fire with my leader, perhaps she's out of ammunition. No, she did fire. But we didn't find any quarrels, so one of the one of her quarrels obviously broke, which is bad for us. We have thirty, so it's not that bad with the quarrels. It would be bad with the javelins because we only have two per person. And yes, I just bought them because they're cheap. They're not the best throwing weapon around, but they are uh, the cheapest. It would make more sense to take um, the swiftest throwing weapon. I'm not sure if they're the sw swiftest throwing weapon, because we're not doing this for damage, we're doing that for training, so we should throw as many of these things as we can. And we should always look when the next boat goes, because we'll be traveling by boat, 
and not by foot if we can because we're in Graz that is not a very good position to start actually I think it's the worst position to start because you're on the lowest end of the map actually ah oh, miserable Oh. oh, we're getting hit. We're getting badly hit. 29. That was an unfortunate event. Because, as I said, the green thing is not really healing well. I think they only have clubs and leather. But fine by me. question is when it will be daylight again it is now okay now let's go to the docks is a ship going no there is no ship going for us so we're just going back to the grove and return what we're doing and that is grinding down thieves but we should look that we have all our javelins equipped Wonderful. Our goal should be to reach Nuremberg because Nuremberg has the best armor and weapons um, from the quality point of view. And that's what we're not going to buy any rubbish just to invest money later on to buy better stuff. We're just buying the best stuff we can get right from the start and we're only investing money exactly there. Because, as in every game I know, um, the traders are the thieves, because they sell you stuff for 400 uh, penning and then they buy it back, even if you just barely touched it, for uh, 10. Okay, that was swift. Just kill them. I'm so often hoping for guys that wear swords because there's so much more money and in, money into that. You don't really notice the skill increase, do you? By the way, by that time, that water here, for example, you see the water flowing and all that, that was state-of-the-art, that was magnificent graphics. And it's still a wonderful game today. Wait until we attack our first Raubritter. Missile changed, throwing changed, the others didn't train, that's sad, I was hoping for more training effect there. Bless you, travelers. Okay, we go back to the dogs. We could try to run into some um, night guard to talk our way out of this, but that is an expensive way to try to train um, speech, common speech. Ah, missed with everything. Okay, just kill them. I don't care. Knock them over the head. Good hit. We can actually fight tactical if we encounter someone who is really extremely dangerous. Then we can start running around with our guys and the rest are shooting. That's a way you can kill really dangerous enemies. You make one of your guys run away, the enemy follows him and then you shoot with everything you've got. And that's really working. I'm not making this up. Two here. Two here. And one there. Excellent. 
Okay, impact weapon now at 38. 24, 27. And we just played two days in time. That's the equivalent of five years, I think actually more than five years in training for the weapon. So I think we're doing a pretty decent job here. But we sure as hell need better armor. This armor is not doing the job well. So, the dogs, another fight. I think we have to fight for four or three or four days and then we can take the ship and get to Nuremberg and with the stuff they sell there we should be able to get the equipment that we can go against real targets that are a little bit more worth in both training and money. Oh yes, that was a nice one. Ooh! Whoa. So two of them died before they even entered combat. They should be demoralized by now, but sadly there is no morale in the game, so they always fight to the bitter end. Like this poor fellow. By the way, we're playing in expert difficulty. This is the highest difficulty level possible. So... Get yourself a javelin. Get yourself a javelin. Three Groshans! That's a lot of money. Our local reputation should skyrocket, by the way. Because we're killing so many evil guys. But do not confuse that with the actual um, reputation in the entire German area mm. because that is a lot different. Being famous in one city does not mean that the Empire knows you even a little, sadly. Get after them! Would you please join the fight? Good work. And right over the head, as it should be. This is good money. However, buying armor, you will see that it costs us 4,000 Fenning for the armor. And you can estimate that the hammers we're going to use cost us about 700 Fenning. So, I have to kill a lot of people to buy those. But normally, weapons and armor do not deteriorate. They can if someone throws potions at you. Oh, we can try to press Burke for three Groschen, and I think we should do that. Because that's a lot faster to travel. It does not look that way, but it actually is. What? This is bad. This could really, really be very bad for us. Because these guys are professionals, we're not. Okay, um... No, you will stay where you are. No, you will stay where you are. I totally forgot how to move... ...the map itself. Don't even know where they're coming from. Here they are, okay. Let's hope that our weapons and skill is sufficient. Oh, he's out of range. 
No, he's not out of range. There's stuff in the way. We didn't hit a thing. That's bad. Attack. You go berserk on the guy. You go attack on that guy, and you go attack on that guy. This could end really badly for us, because those guys are a lot better than what we fight normally. You go berserk on that guy. Berserk means forget about defense, just hammer the guy to bits. And we just did that. Okay, we get our equipment back. And this guy should actually have better stuff. They have the... Oh, padded, see that? And their quality is better. And he even had a shield. And the training is okay. The training is really okay. We could equip the shield, though. Oh, the boat captain is p pathetically grateful for your single-handed defense of the camp against the pirates. You thankful, tactfully overlook the fact that he, the crew, and the passengers all hit while you fought it out. Please accept this small gift as a token of my gratitude, the captain says, handing you a gold florin. Ooh, boring you accept it. At dawn, you resume your journey. I think we get that. That, uh... Where is it? The small shield. Hadaray. We've got a shield now. Isn't that, isn't that beautiful? Oh, so we can go further to Wien, which we should actually do, I guess. Uh, we could continue to Linz. Let's let's. We are here now. Linz is where Linz is there, which is a lot closer to Nuremberg than what we were before. So yeah, we're doing that. Okay. Good question. We could try to yeah, we try to try to talk him. Unfortunately, despite your best efforts, the Wharf Master refuses to count any exceptions. No toll, no entries, he said. That's the rule. And I enforce the rules. Would we were would be be without rules and laws? Well, this fine city would be nowhere, I tell you nowhere. As he drowns on on and about valuable rules, you reconsider the situation. Uh, I think we can jump out of sight the city. We have no reason to go into the city. The captain sails his boat near the shore among the reeds. You jump off board with only your personal gear. After a brief swim, you went ashore, wet and cold. We decide to travel elsewhere. Oh wait, we can approach the the gate. And then we can try to talk our way in because that's good training. Um Yeah. We decide to travel elsewhere. Let's as let's assess the situation. We are here at Linz and we want to go to Nuremberg we could try to enter the city and take a ship to Regensburg which will put, uh, put us a lot closer and I think that is what we should do so eight pennings we can afford that we're rich we're rich people uh, the dogs. Where do the ship? Steyr for two groschens and eight fennings. Steyr is, I think, quite what we need. 
Steyr is here. Passau. Yeah, I think that's what we need. It's a little bit expensive. Point taken. Or should we wait for Passau? Actually, we need the ship to Passau, not to um, Steyr. Let's see what kind of armor they sell and what quality that armor is. Well, I'm always open for surprises. Oh, quality 22. That's really bad quality. Really, really bad quality. Okay. Um, We have 12 of the flakens, which we sell. 20? Oh god, we've got a lot of leather. But all that money will be gone in a second, trust me. Money is so fastly spent here. Good, we keep the shield. Let's go to the main street. And um, go to the mark plots because, well, there is no. Um, if you win, you get two Groschen. Okay, he wants to play a game. Only a Groschen. No, we're not. We don't have enough money to play with it. So, foreign traders, what do they have? 25 quality. That's not bad, although not good enough. Okay, so we're going to the side street and we will be wasting time and hoping that next day, when we've cleared up this city a little and trained ourselves a little, um, the ship goes to Passau. Ooh, they've got swords. Our lucky time. Because swords are good. Oh, come on. Attack this one, you attack that one. Oh, what are you doing? Good, first one down. So far, no armor penetration. Yeah, we're good. Excellent. Get the quarrel back, get the swords. And one javelin for you. Only five penning. Boo, oh, the people are really, really, really poor in this area. I was hoping for a lot more. Okay, side street. Docks. Oh, and they have swords again. We are lucky again. And no hit. Oh, come on, you cannot be serious. Ouch! Oh, that was an evil one. But it did not penetrate, as it seems. We're only taking endurance damage, which is okay. Endurance damage is okay. That'll heal fast, no problem. Ah, uh, three crush and seven pennings, that's a lot better. Yay! 41 in impact weapons! Congratulations! And swords again! What are we lucky people? Swords all over the place. Uh, 
Okay, go and kill people. Wonderful work. Ouch! That actually cost us strength, did it? Yes, it did. Okay, could have been worse. Could have been worse. And the money is quite good. When you start training in the inns, when you start paying teachers to rise your skills, the money goes away like... Just like that. It's all gone in a moment. There are a lot of thieves here. I think we're just emptying the town. But we need the training as soon as we're up against some real targets. Ooh, we actually hit someone. Ha <laughs> ha! Beautiful! They're kind of stuck, are they? Oh, they're already all dying. So there will not be a lot of training here. At least not in close combat. And they only have clubs and five fannings. Oh boy. Did you just train etched weapons? That is impossible. We're not using etched weapons. Wood, what's wrong here? Tell me. You're not using etched weapons. 24 impact weapons. 45. Im Why is there such a big difference? Everyone is excellent with his weapons except for wood. Wood is really bad. He's got only 24. Hmm. Must keep an eye on that, why he's training um, edged weapons. He should absolutely not do that. Etched weapons are of no help. Go in and fight them. Oh yeah, they're getting pummeled. Just as it should be. I think they're carrying, fighting in parrying mode, the enemy, because they cannot really penetrate the armor. Three Groshen sex fanning. Yes, they had money. Still does not explain why. Let's have an eye on that. We got no training at all this time. Is there something wrong? Okay, we can go to Paso. I think we should do that. Yeah, it takes days, I know, but trust me, going overland even takes more time. Okay, we could continue to Regensburg or to Linz. Let's let's look at the at the uh, map. Regensburg is here, and we want to go to Nuremberg, so that is just where we want to go. That is excellent.
your boat approaches Regensburg. We can go to München, but I think München is the wrong way. Yes, München is down and we want to go up from this point. We want to go to Nuremberg. This brings us to Augsburg and Ulm. No, that's all the wrong way. And that Ulm is not closer. All Ulm is not closer at any point. So we jump off. Regensburg is actually a very impressive and very, very um, nice city. Yeah, they're not. Oh, they actually let us in. Man, are they stupid. Um, yeah, let's look at the crafts and the guild, but I don't think they're good here. 25, so that's just normal quality, nothing special. Oh yeah, we get money. 20 leathers. And still we don't have enough money for one simple plate armor. Don't believe me? Oh, they don't even sell plate armor. We could buy one brass handgun. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, uh, let's look at the market. The foreign traders. They don't even sell armor. Okay, out of the city we go. We have nothing to fear because we've done nothing wrong. And here we are. So I think that's an excellent point to stop. Next time we'll be traveling to Nuremberg. And in Nuremberg we will take down even more thieves and then we'll buy our first military hammers which will be the weapons of choice for us for the rest of the entire adventure. Let's just look at how our reputation is in Graz. 35 respected. And how is it at Steyr unknown. Linz is 16. So we're, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Our party fame is still unknown because we did nothing but kill thieves. Okay, so that's it for today. See you next time. Bye!